Hey everyone, welcome back to the Rideshare Hub. It's me, Jacob. Before we get going with today's video, in case you didn't use a referral code to start driving for Uber, it's okay. I'm gonna show you how to use a retroactive sign-up code right now so you can get your guarantee of up to $1,000. Woo! Here's what you're gonna do. You're gonna open up your Uber Drivers app. You're gonna look at the top of the screen for either your picture or those three lines. Click there. Then you're gonna click the Earnings tab. Next, click Help or the question mark. Then click Account and Payment. Next, click Referrals. Then click Invited Driver Report My Missing or Incorrect Driver Referral. Click Send a Message. And the invite code that you're gonna use is JACOB17756UI. Friend's name is Jacob Letman. Phone 307-349-7713. Email address is goodvibetribe222 at gmail.com. And finally, the details, you're gonna put my friend Jacob referred me to start driving for Uber. That's it, send it in so you can get your guarantee of up to $1,000 to start driving with Uber. Well, hello there, you fancy people. How are you doing? Welcome back to another episode of the Rideshare Hub. I'm Jacob Letman, and we're gonna be tackling a hot topic when it comes to rideshare. Hot, sizzling hot. Again, I'm Jacob Letman. I've been driving with Lyft for over two and a half years now, given over 1,700 rides. And today's topic that we are covering is, should you help your passengers with loading and unloading their groceries, baggage, luggage, golf clubs, dead bodies, etc.? Probably stay away from the dead bodies or wear gloves at the very least. All right, but in all seriousness, let's start with loading. So you're pulling up, you got your passenger, you see them waiting curbside and they've got luggage or groceries. Well, in my mind, I always help with loading with this because why not, right? You should just do it. You pull up, pop the trunk, help them load it up unless they tell you otherwise, which hasn't happened to me yet, but you never know. People are how they are. Uh, a couple of reason, reasons why. Because it's a nice gesture. Um, because we're in customer service and they are your customer. Uh, because you know your trunk space better than anyone else and you don't want people banging groceries into the side of your car or hitting luggage into your, your paint job. So you're probably going to care about your space more than they will. So that's another reason why I always help load. When it comes to unloading, that's a little bit of a mixed bag for me. And let me tell you why. So if I'm taking someone to the airport and it's a public place, no problem. I'm always going to help unload their, uh, their luggage. So pull up, stop, pop the trunk, pull out their luggage, and wish them safe travels. Bon voyage. When it comes to groceries at someone's apartment complex or house, I treat that a little bit differently. So first and foremost, I want to say, please, 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 always be looking out for your own safety first and foremost of yourself and your property. Safety is number one. So um, when I go to someone's house or apartment complex, and they have a bunch of groceries in my trunk, here's what I do. Put the car in park, and I turn off my vehicle, and I put the keys in my pocket. That way, no one can run up while I'm helping them with groceries and hijack my car. That would be wild, but you know what? Crazier things have probably happened. So that's what I do. And then also, I never ever go into someone's house or apartment because I don't know what's in there. Maybe they have a giant anaconda as a pet, and I am not down with the snakes. Also, not spiders. Maybe they have a lot of tarantulas. That would be weird, but it's probably a thing. So I never go into anyone's house or apartment. The most I will do is I will help them take their groceries to the front door. Um, but most of the time, I'll probably just put them on the sidewalk for them. But you can feel that out. I would just suggest that you stop your car, 
put your keys in your pocket and uh, if you have any other valuables that you don't want laying around in your car, take those with you too. And then finally, um, because you are helping them out and you are still working with them, make sure that you keep the, uh, the app going. Don't end the ride. Keep it going. Keep making that money uh, for a couple of reasons. Like I said, you're still helping them out, so you should still be getting paid. And also, if you end the ride and you're helping them with their luggage or groceries, you could potentially get a new ride request and you wouldn't be around for it. So to eliminate that, just keep it going. Keep that tally going. When you get back to your car, then you can end the ride and be prepared for your next adventure. So just to recap, I always help load. Always, always, always. It's a nice gesture. Probably help get you a better tip. And when it comes to unloading, make sure you're looking out for yourself, your safety, and your property. All right, you guys, that's what I have for today's topic. If you have thoughts on this topic, feel free to drop a line in the comment section below. Would love to hear from you. Make sure to subscribe to our channel, share the video, give it a big thumbs up if you liked it. If not, well, go do something else with your life. I'm Jacob Letman. You can follow me on Instagram at Jacob, J-A-C-O-B dot Letman, L-E-T-M-A-N. That's pretty easy. And uh, this has been another episode of the Rideshare Hub. We'll see you guys next time.